Well, Scotland, thank you for coming today. I'm glad you were able to uh, put us on your day's agenda of things to do. What do people tell you about what you would be doing today? Um, usually I'd just be sitting at home. That would be if you weren't coming here. But what did they tell you you were going to do when you came here today? Um, that you're just going to ask me questions and I'd answer them. Cool. <laughs> well, then we appreciate your cooperation on that. Um, actually, we're going to let you answer some questions on the computer and the inventory that just asks choices. And they're choices between one good thing and another good thing. So, um, like you might say, do you like ice cream that's chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? And it wouldn't matter whether you said chocolate or it wouldn't matter whether you said vanilla. Both answers could be good, but you would pick which one you would prefer the most. Okay? Okay. Sometimes when you're answering the questions, you're going to come across a question and you're going to go, oh, I like both of those. I don't know which one I'd pick. If you run into that issue, then all you say to yourself is, hmm, if I have to choose between chocolate and vanilla, which one would I go for first? What would I like to do first? So if there's a question where you like both choices, ask yourself which one you'd like to do first. Okay. Again, all answers are good, so you can't say anything that's not good. <laughs> When we're all done with that, we'll score them and come back and then talk about what all those results mean in terms of your personality type, what you like to do, how you like to look at information, and how you like to form relationships. But it's not going to tell me how smart you are. <laughs> and it's not going to tell me about any special talents you have. So you might be a wonderful musician, or you might be an actress or anything like that, but it won't tell us about those parts. But it will tell us what is normal and natural and good about the way you look at information and the way you look at relationships. Okay? Okay. Um, you know how when you have report cards, it's your grade and you've earned it and it only belongs to you? And if you want to tell anybody else what your grade is, you can. But your parents always have a right to see your grades, right? Yes. Yes, because you're still a child. Well, the same thing is true here, that it's your personality, your choices, whatever you decide is right for you will be the correct answer. But if your parents want to see it after we're all done and you've decided what is true for you, then they would get a chance to see that too. Okay? okay. I just wanted you to know that ahead of time. So there's about uh, 53 questions that you'll answer on the computer. And then after we're done with that, we'll come back here and uh, look at all of the results and see how they report for what you believe is most accurate and true about you. Okay? okay. Any questions you have? Um, no. All right, cool. So let's go ahead then and go to the computer and take the instrument. Okay. Okay. <laughs>